She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. She read the term. Will, did you even read the contract? Will, Will, you, you allowed the devil that you were selling your soul to to read out the terms and conditions of you selling your soul to her. Are you telling me you didn't sit down and read the minutia of your own soul-selling pact? Did you have any kind of assurances that she would be telling you what the contract said word for word? Did you in any way, shape, or form have any kind of curiosity about whether she was telling the truth? Did you do any amount of research into devil soul packs? Did you have any kind of brain cells going into this? Or were you so blinded by the desire to save your city that what could very well have been an illusion of a dragon, she probably wanted your soul. She's like, that dude, that dude has potential. I'm going to steal his soul. I'm going to engineer this white dragon to come from the mists. How do you know you just didn't find a bunch of drunkards crying out to the heavens to be like, oh, I'm drunk and gambling debts. Oh, my wife left me. Cry, cry, cry. And then the dragon head. Of How do you know that anything you saw was true? Will, I feel like you're a genuine dumbass. Scratch, are you doing- I, I need my ability to speak with animals. Amicus. Amicus anima. Hello, Owlbear Cub. We need to name him. You smell very delicious. Are you floating? You. Pet the cub. We pet the cub. Pat, pat. He is flying at the moment. I love this dude. I really want him to fight with us. He's flying at the moment. Scratch, do you have anything to say? Do you want scratches? Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yeah, I hope you're keeping well as well, pet. Pet, pet, pet. Pet, pet, pet. Pat, pat. Oh, pat, pat. Okay, we're done here. Uh, let's talk to the most important people in here. We need to this conversation to go well because I need them both to join up with us. A blank canvas? Can I have this? This is mine now. Sorry, uh... You're standing on my canvases. Can I have those? Sorry, you're not you're not allowed to stand on the canvases. If I need those to paint a portrait of something, Flail of Merkel. Why do I have these? Put them to camp. Damn Alan, you need to join up with us. Isabel, you also need to join up with us. You're only level 5 and 8. I need I need you both to join up with us because I more than willing to completely rock out with Isabel, Aelin, and Shadowheart all in the same party, because that would be incredible. Are 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 you willing to you join are. up? I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Um. Sure, I need no more convincing. Step closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Please don't rattle my bones. Moon Maiden Saluna. Hear me, Catherick Thorne, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, most high. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. I will gladly take the blessings of the Moon Maiden herself because I feel like we're going to need all of the blessings that we can get. <laughs> Where's the silver light? The moon magic. If I am going to be blessed by a god, I want my moon magic. If anyone is able to bless me with moon magic, it should be the moon lesbian. I couldn't have done it without you, lady moon lesbian. That's the best compliment I could possibly give you. Aside from the, the sheen of your wings. They're very luscious. I would like one of your feathers. We are a powerful party indeed. Are you willing to join Fae up with us? trembles at our touch. Please join up with us. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. Yes. I am pleased to hear it. Can you join us properly? I really want you to join us properly because I really need a person with wings. I myself can get magic wings. I can make myself fly, but that's like 
limited flight, not like actual flying through the sky forever type of winged flight. We need that. How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? Something tells me it involves a lot of hanky-panky. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Yes. Yes. There's still so much about you I don't know. And I'm so very curious. Pray, ask. And I will tell. Oh, we're going to have so many more conversations. Are you actually Saluna's daughter? Are you, like, actually the child of a god? Are you, like, a god in and of, a, of yourself? Or are you, like, a demigod? Who's your father? I'm so very curious. Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. So is this some kind of, like, uh, parthenogenesis where you just kind of, like, sprung into existence a la Athena? Or is this more, like, um, crafted from clay and breathed life into type thing? Um, would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the dead? Can we get Saluna proper? Can we get the god as a party member? Why, she already has. Well, like, more so than what she's done. She has brought her sword to your side. Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. Nice. I could not agree more. How did you become trapped in the Shadowfell? That's honestly a good question, because I feel like Catherick would have done it, but, like, how did he... How did he actually do it? And this is not me asking out of any desire to, you know, propagate that kind of stuff upon you again. It's just more preventative measures and idle curiosity. Catherick Thorne, father of my one and only love, enslaver of Dame Aelin. Why do you talk in the third person? Catherick Thorne never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour, we each of us mourned bitterly. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo. The brute is dead, and we, we live! Well, we now know how he made his army of Dark Justiciers. Because one, one of the requirements to become a Dark Justicier is to kill a practicing Saluna worshipper, and who better than the daughter of Saluna herself, who happens to be immortal and one that you can kill over and over and over again. I'm glad we saved you, because that is not a fate I would wish upon anyone. Isabel, how are you doing with the fact that we kind of murdered your father, even though he probably was not the father that you in any way, shape, or form remember or cared about? I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here, and... My father. I heard what happened. What he'd become. By killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. I mean, she did most of the killing. Like, I, I, I don't know if she's told you about the actual fight, but she did the bulk of the slaughter against his health and his skull and his brain and everything else. Lots of bone shards. You seem to have a lot of history with Aelin, so what exactly happened? A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorm is... was... my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother 
rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Seruna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. He'd become the Chosen of Merkel. Yeah, Kethrick did a lot of stuff in that time where you were dead. Did we ever find out how... Ex did, didn't Isabel die from, like, a disease that swept through the town? Or was she murdered? I don't quite remember. I suppose that makes two of us. Did he shout boo? No, that's probably... Uh, I don't think Kethrick is the joking type like that. I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land. My home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. Yeah, that's that's probably pretty understandable. If they were... Because at that point, Jahira and her Harpers probably would have been real gung-ho about killing Ketherick. And killing his daughter probably would not have been something that they would have had any kind of conniptions over. So, I can absolutely understand... But before we continue, do you have anything to trade? A single gold piece. I do not need your dollar. Thank you, Isabel, but no thank you. It's quite understandable that you lied about who you were. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. No, please. But I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be. Stay as long as you like. You are more than welcome, both of you, to stay forever if you so desire, because if we can put those wings to use and that spear of yours, it reminds me of a spear I had. Uh, Shadowheart, do you want to have a conversation with Dame Aelin, or do we want to save that for later? There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Okay, this is a conversation we need to have as Shadowheart, which makes an immense amount of sense. Or are we just going to have this same type of, Oh, blessed Saluna, this is the savior. Bless them. Feel my voice. Oh, you're going to rattle my bones as well. As proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, most high. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Can we get Dame Aelin to rattle all of our bones? Hmm, potentially, potentially. Where is the silver light, the moon magic? No, yes. Where is the moon magic? 
Listen to the subtle vibrations of the Moon Maiden thumping within your heart chamber's friend. She works her magic there. Heart my chambers? Isabel it's called my chest. Stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Welp, that's good, but we're going to leave because you're not going to have anything new to tell me, even as Shadowheart. Should we have... We should probably do a cursory glance outside of camp and see if there's any loot to be had. Because we could probably... We probably need to take a long rest before we get any, like, actual conversations about things. So is there stuff to do? Oh, God, the frames. They're vanished again. I'll do... Yeah. You know what we'll do? We'll do a cursory glance around the place, and if there's anything interesting, we'll check it out. Oh. Oh, Barkus. Do we need to have a chat? And aren't you the other one? Bongle. Right. Wolbrin. I owe you an apology. For? Do I care about your relationship with Barkus? Um, I, I, I don't really. What are you apologizing for? I saw you as a means to escape. Nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. Well, technically it was Aelin. I apologize for not seeing your true worth and for being, quite frankly, rude in last light. It, it's, it's understandable. Uh, yeah, the apology. Sometimes it's just best to accept a person's apologies, and I am most benevolent. So, yeah, apology accepted. I wasn't sure you would. I appreciate it. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand gnomes are going to save the city, and you can be part of it. What is currently threatening the city? Because that's... Um... Uh, uh, that, that's it. That's a pretty important question. If you want my help, I'm going to need more. What exactly are you trying to save the city from? Uh, we're friends, aren't we? Of course we're friends. I'm Charles D. We're friends to all. Modify 29. Absolutely incredible. Starting off strong with the first dice roll today. My plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Don't really think that's how it Find works. Me in the city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I and I alone can stop it. Really? You and you alone, Wilburn? I d doubt that. Why did the table break? Why are there floating heads? Or helmets, not heads. The heads are not floating. Wolbrin, or Barkus, are you good? There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. I was killing an immortal god. You excuse me for not making myself available to your services, Wolbrin, Barkus, Root. Who? Oh, right. Well, forget about that, McGungus. We have more important things to worry about. Like Wolbrin. Um, I feel like this is something you need to work out on your own. What about him? Wolbrin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something dreadful in the city. Mm-hmm. They have room powder. They have motive. We have to stop them. I'm... Why? I'm still completely unclear about what is eating the city alive besides itself. Is it just, is it the elder brain? I feel like I'm already going to stop that. Um, uh, is this just because Wilburn rejected you? Are you like a jilted lover or something? I'll not deny he wounded me. I cared for Wilburn. Care for him, really. But he's... Well, he's acting like a true idiot. It isn't the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last. But I won't let him hurt anyone. Or himself. So what do you plan to do about it? Because they're a gaggle of vindictive crybabies with no sense of propriety. That is to say, they gabbed about their plans like a geese 
I overheard them. Like a very devious goose. <laughs> what is the plan? I We need more information. The city has more important concerns than a bunch of ne'er-do-wells with a grudge. Why is this a gnome option? Um, sh sure, if something comes up along my path, I'll take care of it. So just leave it to me, Barkus. You've proven you're not really kind of capable for this kind of thing. Knowing when to ask for help is a sign of wisdom, not weakness. You helped me in this god's awful quagmire. When we're back in the city, I'll be fully in my element once more. To saving the city. And my fool of a friend. I will certainly try if it's in my capabilities, but until I'm certain of my capabilities, we'll have to see. So many dead harbors, and so few frames. Where? Oh, what we is happening? Leave the heart of the absolute alive. Thanks to you, you did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. Yeah, don't worry, I'll get the other two. Many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I have so many of them. I have so many. I have so many allies. You have no idea. Jahira, Halson, hopefully Dame Aelin, and uh, Isabel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why we got House. Halson is a beast. That I don't need allies. I have you. Um, I'm not coming on to the woman in the cube. So uh, we have Halson for this purpose. Halson's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. How many more? Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? I mean. Probably. I don't think they're going to immediately slaughter everyone. I feel like they need to build up to that. Hopefully. I will build an army to rival that of the... No, I won't. I... Quality over quantity. And even though I can raise as many dead as I desire, I don't necessarily want to. Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. True. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seems a bit pretentious, but I am willing to Seek agree. On its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the absolute, the chosen, all. So I just need to recruit people off the streets? I, I could go around handing out flyers and posters and be like, do you want to kill an illithid elder brain? If you do, contact Charles D, greasy wizard recruit man. No, we need to have a rest and talk to our angel in the party, the one with the wings if you've forgotten. And we also need to talk to the pixie. Should we have a chat with the pixie? We should probably have a chat with the pixie. Oh, the holy fire. Right, we don't care about the holy fire. Was there anything else? Because this place is still cursed, right? Is there anything to actually search through? Because we searched through all of this. Oh, there was this entire area, wasn't it? Search for Maul in the path to Baldur's Gate. Right, oh, so this is probably how we get to Baldur's Gate. Okay, so I'm kind of halfway glad that I didn't actually explore that. That's actually, that's actually good for us. Okay, that's understandable. Let's talk to the pixie and see if uh, releasing it into the world is a, a bad thing or a good thing. Yoo-hoo, I'm ready to come out now. Are you? Um, I'm not going to torture the pixie. Um, all right, fine, fine. We're done. We're done with uh, Moonrise. We've successfully cured everything. If we need to do more things, we'll be fine. I'm going to release the pixie. Dolly, dolly, dolly. I will now free you. Your purpose has been fulfilled.
been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Oh, so you're not angry with us for freeing you at the moment. Um, what's on offer? I, I mean, I, I don't really have any expectation that you help us with the Shadow Curse at this point, so... Um, yeah, we're, we're good. I really don't foresee the Pixie having anything super helpful. My help doesn't come with strings attached. I am Charles D, after all, the most benevolent forest gnome in all existence. I do not need help from freeing pixies that I admittedly kept trapped in a lantern for quite a long time. So you've already done enough to help me. We're, we're good. Butter wouldn't melt. Well, look, I won't have you tracking me down in the Fey looking for tuppence. Let's finish this fair and square. All right. Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words, and you'll get what you've earned. Where did Protection you get that? Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? Wait, could, what? What? Could You're I have? Welcome. Could I have had this for the entire? What? What is? Filigreed Feywild bell. The hell does that do? What the hell is a filigreed Feywild bell? And how does it help me? Could this have been way more useful? This ornate, ornately decorated bell, tarnished with age, rings a mischievous giggle, not unlike its pixie enchanter. Um. Do I have the moon lantern anymore? I don't have the moon lantern anymore. Um. Do I ring the bell? I don't even need it at this point. I think we... I mean, its purpose is only to use it to disrupt the shadow curse. I could probably have freed the pixie way sooner. That probably would have... Can I put the mace back on? Do we ring the bell? I say we ring the bell. I don't know what it's going to do. Do I lose the bell? Potentially. I do not know. I'm going to save it. Because it doesn't seem like the shadow curse is cursing. Because, like, we're around and there's no shadow curse. All right, that's cool. Let's go take a long rest. Oh, no, wait, what was that? Oh, that was holy fire. Right, uh, don't want to step on fire. That's probably not smart. Let's go take a long rest, have more conversations, talking to more people, and then I have no idea because there's probably not a lot going on in terms of actual fighting. This is probably like filled with talking. Let's go back to camp, have a long rest. Hopefully recruit Dame Aelin and Isabel proper. Because Shadowheart still needs to have a chat with Dame Aelin about a bunch of stuff. So let's make a save state and then get some rest. Because none of us actually need to be healed up because of the Mind Flayer stuff. But we should still be good. So let's take a long rest. We have 4,800 supplies so we're good. Oh, Asterion wants to have a chat. Okay, well, Asterion, let's see what you have to chat about. The way she leered at me. The blood merchant. I can't get it out of my head. It isn't like me. Not like me at all. I was being too... Precious, wasn't I? We could have used her potion. Probably. A moment of unpleasantry doesn't matter if there's a fine reward. I should have just gritted my teeth as always and let her have me for a bit. I mean, you could probably put it in a different way. I mean, as much as I love you, Asterion... I'm not in the habit of forcing my party members to do unsavory things like having themselves be eaten. That's not necessarily what we're all about. It makes me sad to hear you talk about yourself like that, Asterion. It truly breaks my heart that you denigrate yourself so severely. Why? I'm simply trying to be realistic. There's nothing more desirable in the world than a vampire, is there? I mean... <laughs> How many been through all I have? You damn well are going to fight with what few assets the gods give you. 
But a part of me feels sick when I think about getting on my back for breadcrumbs again. Again? I mean, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not one to judge. I'm not one to judge who you spread your legs for. That's, that, that's your own thing. You're hundreds of years old and you've subsisted on nothing but rats. I, if you, if you wanna, if you wanna have a fun time with the hanky panky in the red light district, that's all you, my friend. I won't judge. I am Charles D. Greasy Wizard Necromancer Forest Gnome. I hang around corpses for a living. That's fine. I'm just saying. If you're gonna stick with Charles D. Greasy Wizard Necromancer Silver Tongue Forest Gnome, you're gonna have to talk a bit better about yourselves. What are the options that we have to talk about? Uh, you have so much more than looks going for you. I'm not leading. Uh, I'm not leading Asterion further along this path. <laughs> I'm too pretty is a bit of a sore complaint. Uh, have you even enjoyed having sex in the last decades? Uh, I feel like that's a bit personal to ask the man. Probably not. Uh, it, based on the way he's been talking about, probably not. Um, sure, I suppose of all the options, we should probably do our best to give this man a tiny bit of self-confidence because Asterion probably needs every bit that he can get. I had nothing at all for so long. Not even my body. That was owned by Cazador. To be sent out to tempt fools into his palace. I have bedded thousands of people. Half of them I barely remember. Most of them didn't even grant me temporary bliss. It should have been so easy to let the drow use me for her fantasy, but perhaps, uh, you showed me I have enough strength. I don't need to. No, you don't. You're strong. You're not a slave now, Asterion. You are free. You are free to do whatever you decide to do with your life. You are a part of this crew, for better or worse. And even if we bully you, even if we throw tomatoes at you on occasion to make you dance, even if, you know, we bully you, you're better than like 99% of the population in Faerun because you're with us. We have the power to do whatever we desire. You have a great deal of power over people. You should see it as a strength. Eh, nah, nah, nah. You're not a slave. You're free. Well, I mean, I mean, strictly speaking, that's true, but there's also a tadpole in your brain that kind of would make you a slave to either the Illithids if you ever stop traveling with us because we're the ones with the protection dodecahedron so maybe well you're not as free as you know free bird but like um yeah i would never i would never ask you to whore yourself out for magic potions i i am confident in saying that at the very least it isn't worth the scars anymore glad we had this chat asterion very, very glad. Does anyone else need to have a chat? Uh, we'll talk to Shadowheart last, because... Or, well, we'll talk to Dame Aelin last. Lazel, do you have... I feel like we talk to a lot of people. To Baldur's Gate. Voss will be waiting in this Charesse's caress. Yes. Okay, that's true. So we don't have to talk to Lazel. Will, I feel like we had plenty of time to speak to. Well, man. Will met indeed. Okay, we're done with the will. Uh, just one last cursory glance to everyone. Karlak, you good? Soldier. Um, I'm not going to ask her to get back to Avernus. That would just be terrible. And if she blows up, she blows up. Several people in our party are liable to explode at any given moment. So if Will blows up, that's fine. It won't happen. If Karlak blows up, that's fine. It also won't happen. Jahira. I would not linger in this land over long. But, whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. I am glad for it. Another druid that I can ignore. Uh, Halson, do you have anything last minute to speak to me about? I swear, I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. Very good. I am glad the time is running short. Withers, do we need to have any more of a chat? Fate spins along as it should. 
Dost thou require a new ally? No, no one from the dead. Oh. Okay, Withers has got nothing new to say. Uh, Gale? Why is everyone steeped in bliss? What have you guys been doing in the in, in, in camp while I've been gone? What's on your mind? Okay, no one wants to have a chat. All right, we'll talk to Shadowheart and then Dame Aelin. And then we'll see what that's all about. And then we can all take a nap and have real conversations. You wanted something? Just wanted to see where you've been for the past 20, 20 minutes, I guess. Uh, you don't have anything new to say either. All right, Dame Aelin, what do you have to talk about? What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Except me. Almost no one. Okay, good. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Very curious to see what this is about. about Salunite rites of passage, about how they would abandon their children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents I need to save them very surprised that her dad survived being speared by like seven spears but aside from that big revelations interesting very interesting we knew we knew Shadowheart originally was like part of the Salunites but this is because not not super big revelations but this is it's very interesting that her parents are still alive how did you how do you know that her how how, how do you know her parents are alive that that's i suppose the big question very curious i mean i of course am going to help your parents are with your abductors you will need to return to their lair but be warned you may have once thought of them as comrades 
mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. The Spear of Night? How did you... Did you pick that up? I thought we... I thought we tossed that over into the void. Um... Okay, isn't that thing supposed to be able to kill you? I mean, I do realize that Char needs to give her approval, but like, very curious. Is this going to be a case of turning the weapon of Char against her own worshippers? That's probably what this is about. Is But isn't that thing like actually supposed to be able to kill you? It no longer has the power to harm me, now that I've removed it from Char's domain. Fair Char enough. Char is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough, but I felt it call to me. As I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Saluna's Spear of Night. They probably should have called it the Spear of Light. But I'm curious about the weapon. What does that do? Is it like a legendary thing? Oh, it is. It's it's orange. It's not even... The Moonlight Glaive is blue. It's rare, but this thing is a legendary. Saluna's Blessing. You'll gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and perception checks. And it gives you 40 feet of dark vision. Allows you to cast Moonbeam and Moon Moat. What is Moon Moat? And it is a plus three weapon enchantment. That is a nice spear. One of the goddess Saluna's titles, Moon Maiden, has often been debated among the ecclesiastical. Common symbology certainly rejects the assumption of virginity. More to the point, Maiden itself carries some dusty connotations. How about Lunar Lady? Keeps the alliteration too. Marjorie Henderplum. Okay, that's a weird thing. Me and Shadowheart, we can have matching weapons because she's got the glowy Spear of Saluna and I've got this giant glowy Mace of Lathander. We can be light uh, uh, partners. Partners in light? Does that do anything like special for her? Does she have like... Because I'd rather have the spear because it allows her to have a shield as well. 5 to 12 versus 5 to 17. But that's only 5 to 17 because of the radiant damage. Otherwise, it would be 5 to 13. I'd rather have the spear, if I'm being honest. Neat. Because then, then I can equip the big shield. Where is the shield? Is it not the, not the, the Ketheric shield? Can we do that? Plus one bonus to spell save DC? That's probably really good. Darkness cloak. Yeah, give her Ketheric shield. I mean, it's a slight bit better. Sure, why not? That looks way better in terms of equipment for Shadowheart. Neat. I don't suppose you two are, like, actually willing to join us proper as companions, right? Because I would, in an instant, get rid of Halson and Karlak for both of you. I really hope we can get them on our team proper. Like, I really, really hope. Let's go take a nap. Everyone is bone-tired from fighting a demigod. Except Karlak, who is dancing and stretching. Oh, what camps do we need to... What camp supplies should we use? Should we use maybe some of our 15 sausages or sausages or sausages or sausages or sausage links? Maybe we mix it up and do some of the sausage links instead of just the normal sausages. What, is, what does the game want us to do? 11 mugs of beer, 11 ith banks... 18 Shulton Fire Swills. Literally nothing but booze. Seriously, game? It literally wants us to drink, like, 20... 
like 40. It literally wants us to drink 40 bottles of alcohol. Um, I'm going to say no to that and like actually get some 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 good some some good eats. Maybe maybe we can just have like a normal supply pack. Like you can have you can have some of the Arabellan dry and a supply pack, but you you don't you don't actually need 40 bottles of wine. As much as killing the god of death would want to make you drink, um, I don't want to deal with everyone having you know, being hung over later. Can we get a visitor from Dream Lady? We need to have a personal visit from Dream Lady, please. No visits from Dream Lady? That's a shock. Well, Shadowheart wants to talk, so we shall have a chat with them. And Dame Aelin is in a different position, so maybe she too would like to join us proper. I'm getting rid of Halson for her if I can. I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. I wouldn't really blame you as much as you seem to be blaming yourself, because you were a child, terrified, frightened, watching your father get speared by a bunch of mask-wearing freaks, surrounded by wolves, and I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that, you know, having your memories erased of all of that trauma and being manipulated and molded to suit the Sharon's desires. I really wouldn't hold any of that against you. Like, at all. Hmm. Regardless, regardless, whatever you decide to do, I will absolutely be by your side. Thank you. But I want you to refrain from foolish heroics. Impossible. When the time comes, we'll be entering a nest of vipers. I couldn't bear to lose you. Not after everything. It won't happen, trust me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. Oh, we will. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. And that is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Yes, ma'am. I will gladly leave it in your hands. Dame Aelin, are you willing to come with us? Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. Okay, you're still caught up in that particular thing. You should join my camp permanently. Oh, yes. You absolutely should join up permanently. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Nice. Are you willing to join up now, then? Are you willing to join up now? Or is this like a later in Act 3 type thing? Do I have any more questions for you? Pray, ask, and I will tell. Um, no, we've already asked that. Alright, well, it seems like they're willing to join us, but not quite yet. Isabel, how are you doing? Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Fair enough. You know what? Honestly speaking, fair enough. You and uh, Aelin take all the time in the world. If anyone bothers you, just throw them into this bottomless pit that we apparently have access to. Is that a piano? Why do we have a piano in the pit? Asterion, your duty for while we're gone is to fish that piano out of the pit and repair it. Will, if he needs help tuning the keys, get Gale to do it because I don't trust you to string together two rose knots. And if you ask me what a rose knot is, well, that's just indicative of how stupid you are. 